Good afternoon. This activity and video is inspired by one of my favorite books, My Mouth is a Volcano. It is written by Julia Cook and it was shared with me by one of my third grade teacher friends. It has the Mom's Choice Award and it is about a little boy that likes to interrupt or erupt his volcano uh, at the wrong time. And so I'm gonna show you how to make a volcano at home. We're gonna erupt this one and then I'll give you instructions on how to make your own. It's really simple. So Sawyer's going to help me. You're gonna make this with vinegar, baking soda, and if you like to be a little extra, you can add some glitter to it. We've already put glitter around the outside of our volcano. And now we're gonna let Sawyer add our vinegar and we are going to watch the eruption. Sawyer. Okay, Sawyer, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've, we've been playing with this, so we've done it a couple of times, as you can see. So Sawyer is going to add our vinegar, which makes our volcano erupt. Go ahead, buddy. Awesome. Look at that lava. Good job. The first thing you're gonna need is a water bottle. You're gonna want something that's smaller at the top. And I have cut my water bottle to where I have a small place to hold my baking soda. I'm gonna put about a fourth a cup of baking soda into the bottom. And then if I want to add my glitter or some washable paint, now would be the time to do that. And I'm gonna take the top part and I'm gonna cut a slit in the top part where it will fit over. And it actually makes like a small water bottle. If you have a small water bottle, you won't even have to cut a larger one. And then after that, you can choose to put Play-Doh on there to make it a volcano. You can use aluminum foil or just leave it like it is. And then you're gonna take your vinegar, and when you add your vinegar into the baking soda, it will create the eruption. You just have to make sure that you put enough like to uh, make it come out the top. So just keep adding until it erupts out the top. Today's activity was inspired by the book, My Mouth is a Volcano by Julia Cook. And as soon as I get permission to read the story to you from Julia, I will post a, a reading of the story here on this YouTube link. The story is about a boy named Lewis that has a really hard time keeping his words inside of his mouth when other people are speaking. He has very important things to say, and it's really hard for him to not erupt or interrupt like a volcano when other people are speaking. He says in the story that he feels like his words start to rumble and jumble in his tummy. They slide up and wiggle and giggle in his mouth and they press against his teeth until he just erupts like a volcano. In the book, his mom teaches him this really great strategy for how to handle this and it's something that we all can benefit from. She tells him that when other people are speaking and his important words come to his thoughts, and his words start to rumble and jumble in his tummy and wiggle and jiggle in his mouth and want to erupt out of his mouth, that he should keep his words firmly behind his teeth, that he should exhale his words out his nose. He exhales the words out. They float around into the air where they're not lost. They're just floating around until it's his turn to speak. And then when it's his turn to speak, he takes a deep breath, takes the words back in and then lets them go out of his mouth and it keeps him from erupting and interrupting all of the other people that have important things to say as well. So stay tuned. If Julia gives me permission, I will read the story and post it here on this YouTube channel. If not, just order yourself a copy. I ordered mine on Amazon and uh, it was about, I think, $9 for the book. It's a great book um, for any family or any classroom to have.